it's time for a proper review of the Casper Twin Element. Likely, I think, the cheapest mattress they make. Um, they may make a even cheaper one on their secret page. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty happy with this Casper Element Twin, $330 on Amazon. I hate Amazon, but I did order from them this time. And this is going to be for children and then guests when they come over here. And right now we are sleeping on the Casper King Hybrid from Costco. I don't think they sell the same one anywhere else. And it's been an excellent mattress that we paid less than a thousand dollars for. Maybe 900 a couple years ago. And I sleep great on that mattress and we have for three straight years now. So I wanted to buy another Casper. Now, of course, I wanted to make sure a guest could sleep on this. And so I slept on it for 10 days straight within the return window. And while a twin is just too short for me and how I sleep, um, because I am five foot nine, this is just um, a great mattress. I slept very well. I've had poor experiences in the past with all foam mattress where my back starts hurting and I was with a Zinus mattress, I think, that was actually more expensive. But I've been really happy so far with the Casper Element Twin. Um, just happy enough that we bought another one. And one thing I did learn researching a lot about mattresses was these full foams really benefit from a platform rather than slats. Uh, you lose some breathability from the slats, but with this cheapo bunk bed that we got on Facebook Marketplace, there are actually not enough slats to support this mattress. You can see they're about a foot apart here. And so what I really needed was a full platform and the best way to do that is just to go to Ace or something and buy some half to three quarter inch plywood. This is three quarter inch and it supports me just fine. And it makes for a, a firmer mattress, which this is defined as firm on their scale. I don't think they've got it labeled anywhere per se, but it is definitely slightly firmer than the King Hybrid that we got from Costco, which is re resting on slats. So that may attribute to some of it, uh, maybe the different bed frame. Um, that to say, I don't prefer a firmer or softer bed than what I'm sleeping on the hybrid mattress, which I love. I can tell this one is firmer, but it's not too firm that it bothers me. So just something to keep in mind. If you have ever felt the King hybrid as a point of reference for the firmness of this one. And I think it'll be just fine for anyone sleeping on here. Um, I'm an adult that weighs 150 to 160 pounds and it's just fine for me. I sleep great. So I'm going to unbox this and maybe I'll talk a little bit more about it. Maybe not. So I've got this out of the box here and the instructions are extremely straightforward. Unbox, unroll, and then let it expand. So I'll do that. So there we go. I've gotten all that stuff off. I think it's upside down. Definitely upside down. Gonna flip all right. This. It says just to tear this open, so. Man, that was vacuum sealed. Probably worth making a couple more cuts. So, 
uh, there it is. It expanded extremely quickly. I don't hear any more air. Um, one nice thing about this is you're able to sleep on it immediately. I slept on that one immediately. It hasn't expanded anymore after the first day. Um, it's over 10 inches thick, which I believe this was advertised at 10 inches. So it's, it's beat its advertisement. And yeah, pretty great.